everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing. I'm here in my favorite biome in Minecraft. And I... Oh, wait. Hold on. That one block behind me is bothering me. Hold on. Okay, we're, let's start again. So yeah, we're back again here with another Minecraft video. And today I asked you guys on Twitter something very, very important. I found this awesome spot in my creative world and I asked you guys what I should build here. And boy, did we have a lot of responses. Check this out. And thank you all so much for all that inspiration. If you haven't followed me already, go follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna be doing this more often. I'm gonna send pics. I'm gonna get inspiration from you guys and we're gonna build it here in this world. Also, there's gonna be a link in the description if you guys wanna join up on Patreon or through the YouTube supporter side. If you guys wanna get a copy of this world, you can go explore this area plus there's a bunch of other builds here from my 117 tutorials let's plays and transformations all in the same world so join up if you want a copy now let me get out of this biome the greatest biome in minecraft <laughs> and here we go with this spot this location inspired me so much but you know what you guys inspire me a lot too by letting me know what you want to see here a lot of people are saying a lighthouse a fishing dock but mostly a water wheel that inspired me a lot because i haven't done a water wheel in a long time so i started right now with a little bit of an outline in deep slate i wanted to separate this in two different sections i wanted to have almost like a little workstation build uh, and then connected with like a little overhanging walkway uh with the starter house like build so on the left is the starter house like stuff and on the right is our workstation but i started to texture in with the deep slate we got the cobbled and the brick version and then a little transition block with some tough on top of that some cobble and then some stone and if you notice everything is in layers then i started to bring up some of the blocks and drop down some of the other ones so i started almost like a little bit of a cake like that and then i started to break them down a little bit lift up the tough bring down the cobble lift up the deep slate push down the regular stone. And that's how I like to do my texturing in this version. You can have this actually reversed. You can have the stone on the bottom going up to the deep slate or keep it like this. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of inspiration how I come up with texturing. Now, this is pretty cool because what I did was after we're done with this bit of texturing, we're gonna jump into the roof design. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to break this up with two different woods. So I wanted to put a section of dark oak and then a section of some spruce. That little back tower there, I lifted it up a little bit and I knew I had to go up a little taller with the big boy. But before we get to that part, I wanted to bring in the spruce now. For these little diagonals, I love coming up in slabs. So one slab at a time. And now this part, the top part of this big tower was inspired by New World. I've been playing this recently and I got inspiration from that. Uh, there's this tower that's pretty much repeated a bunch of times at different locations if you know about it you know about it you'll see it you'll see the the resemblance i got inspired by that and it's cool to get inspiration from other games and concept art pinterest a lot of different inspiration comes mostly uh from other games concept art though so just remember that if you ever want to get some inspiration go on pinterest or get some inspiration just from other games but this right here i decided to change it up a little bit i went for a tall tower design here on the top for the tip of this tower roof so eventually i was like you know what it looks cool but i'm gonna cut it off i want to come up with something a little fresh a little different so i chopped the top off right here and i broke it up with a little line of dark oak going up but then i put a little secondary tower here i went with that lighthouse feel for this one so some of the stripped dark oak some of the spruce and some of the dark oak and i hung a little light there and it came out really really nice but in the back here i cut that tower off because like you know what it's too many towers here so i just wanted a little bit of an extension here and i wanted it to feel almost like it was retrofitted after the fact after the the structure was built so giving you a little bit of history over something that i literally just built so i wanted it to feel like this was like an ad on after that the people who ever lived here wanted to add a little bit of extra bits of detail so that's what i added right here which came out pretty cool then on top of that i wanted to pretty much mirror what we did there in the front side to the starter house side so i added a little extension but then i changed the roof with some of the spruce so we have spruce and we have dark oak as the main roofs and then we're here since we're changing it up again i came up with the same style of roof we have on the other side but changed it up and did it with some dark oak front door big giant door i love these big doors pretty much doing that little archway feel and then threw in some trap doors and a regular old door there in the back but this overhang right there i love these little additions these connect two builds together with a nice little overpass and a nice little transition to get to the backside area now for this big tower we needed to do something to break it up because it was just a big flat wall different ways to do it right this is one just adding a little extension there also had to put a little hanging light and i added that same extension to the other side as well but 
that's not it. We needed to come up now with detail bits because these walls were way too flat. So for the flatter walls, adding some windows there. On top of the windows, adding a little overhang there, a little awning bit, and then also flower boxes. This adds so much detail. Same thing I did to the front, I did it to the back as well. The windows with the overhangs, also uh, this part mirrored again one more time we had to do that little overhanging bit and that's really simple it's just a little bit of dark oak with an overhang of campfires and trap doors of our spruce now it's water wheel time not really we just played around with the idea over here came up with a nice little end to that area but then it, it's more detail time because we need to add some windows on these windows really super simple all i did was add some trap doors next to it. it looks like a little shutter that can close it off and then over here in the center bit i wanted to add a different kind of window i added a bay window really simple to make just with a little bit of dark oak on the bottom and on the top just to give you a little bit of that window feel and then we added the, the big door i love a big door very cool big door then a window is needed on the side originally i was gonna put two but i was like nah it might be too big so i just did a single one over there added two more windows here to the diagonal bits with full glass it's, it's probably the best way to do it but since this is gonna be the main house i wanted to add a chimney here this will be our cooking area once we get to the inside and i'll show you the inside once we get there but uh, to add details to these little chimneys it's good to add just some stairs on there now on the outside i wanted to add a flower garden right there on the outside so i added that little bit but before we get to the flower garden it's wheel time because this one it took a couple passes to get a nice curve to it i wish we had vertical slats it would have helped me out so much but we didn't so what i did was i played around with stairs played around with a lot of stairs flipping them sideways upside down turning them so many different degrees and at the end i think i came up with actually my favorite water wheel of all time but i went up with a single one at first but i was like you know what let's make it a little thicker but not too thick what i did was i doubled it up one on each side just keep mirroring it and once i got the, the shape that i like I, I pretty much doubled it up but i broke up the middle so then in in the center i put almost like a little bit of a cog looking wheel there with some copper just to make it look cool make it look like it actually is functional and it rotates and last but not least a couple barrels there on the side and some fences to break up the interior uh, holes that we had in there and there that yeah it's my favorite water wheel it's my favorite yep confirmed and then it's time to add the dock. So I added a very simple dock here with some slabs and some trapdoors of spruce, some oak beams there to break it up, and some oak trapdoors on the top. Did the trick. Then some dark oak fences with some lights. And then I added some barrels, some chests, uh, and a little bit of note block action to look like crates. And that really sealed the deal right there. Made it look alive, made it look cool. But for this flat wall, instead of adding little pop up bits, I added just a couple bits of arrow slit style windows. These are really cool for little medieval builds. And also some flower boxes there on the side. And then we got back to our flower garden over here added little custom trees with some azaleas and some uh spruce fences some bushes in there some flowers some tall grass a little bit of life there on the side just so it doesn't look so plain now over here i wanted to extend that dock just a little bit more uh, just so we could park a boat and it wouldn't be so close to the water wheel so i did extend that and then it's time a, a little sailboat a tiny baby sailboat and this one came out really nice it looks so cool it matches the space it's not too big not too intrusive doesn't block out the whole entire front and really super simple with the sails i just added just some banners there but I was, you know what i was like this has to be uh, a, a section for some crops because i wanted this to be almost like an ultimate base that has everything you need to survive so what do you need to survive you need crops so i added some uh carrots some potatoes and some wheat and a little fishing dock but that's not all if you don't want to live that vegan lifestyle we got some meat over here because this right here is a little animal pen uh specifically it's for cows but you can put any animal in there really simple overhang there with campfire blocks but that's it we're done with an ultimate survival base in minecraft what do you think Now what? 
do you think of this ultimate Minecraft base? I didn't show you any of the interior because I'm going to save that for right now. Trust me, it's ultimate. It has everything you need to survive in Minecraft. Plus a water wheel that it doesn't work as its intended purposes. So I'm going to show you right now. But look at this cute little boat. <laughs> I love this little sailboat. We got a crop field here on the side. Oh, I fell in the water. It's fine. We got a crop field here on the side if you guys want to get some cropage right there. And then walking around this little boardwalk area. Look how cool. Very broken and lovely pieces of agriculture everywhere it's great but we got a way up here that curves around to get into the main build but then down here last minute i added this little um animal pen uh it, well it's it's a cow pen but you can put any animal technically right Yes, you could. It's <laughs> super awesome. But let's go on the inside. Let me show you first this section. This is the starter house side. So we got this separated in two sections. This is the starter house section. And this is almost like the workshop area where you can do all your other Minecrafty stuff. Over here, pretty much your living area. And we have yourselves the best kitchen in the game right there. Beautiful. And a nice little sleeping area here on the side. And a nice book. So if you download the world, I'm going to leave you some nice notes in there for you. Just uh, don't tell anybody what I said. Okay, thanks. Uh, and then <laughs> coming around here, we've got really high ceilings i could have pretty much broke this into two levels had a split section and had more stuff on the top but i'd love a high ceiling so i left this as tall as can be coming on the outside and going around to the corner we have this lovely area that pretty much has everything you need watch this now coming on the inside to the right we have our level 30 enchanting station nice and messy with shelves going all the way to the tippy top and then also a nice little smelting area there with furnaces blast furnaces smokers Oh, and your dual crafting bench. You never know when you need more than one. And then coming over here, we have our nether portal right here tucked into the side of this wall and our spiral staircase that goes to the top. But you're probably asking, sausage with water wheels, uh, what, you usually like, what, like a lumber mill or something like that? No, this is what this mill does. It's technically not a mill. All it is is a way for the water wheel to turn rapidly, turning this little section and giving our axolotls a little bit of a bubble bath. That's right. <laughs> this is an axolotl pen. <laughs> I love it. This is so cool right here. Are they trapped down here? Hold on a second. Let me swim down below. Okay, you guys are not trapped. Okay, perfect. We just have two for now, uh, but hold on. Let's make more. Axolotl babies. Oh, so cute. Has anyone ever made a water wheel to turn inside a, a, an axolotl pen to make bubbles in there so they're going to have a good time? No, I'm the first one. That's right. There is no one else has done that. If somebody else did it, show me and I'm going to call you a liar because this doesn't exist. Look how cute. <laughs> what? Well, but look, coming up to the top, we got more Minecrafty stuff. We have our uh, chest room. I think this is enough chest to start out. That's perfectly fine. A little shell for more chests. A little uh, uh, arrow slit windows. You can shoot people on the outside. Perfect. I love this thing. Then coming to the very, very top, we got one of the cutest ceilings ever. Look at that vault look. So nice. But this is our brewing station. That's right. We got a bunch of water here in the side. We have some of our brewing stands. And in the center, we have yourself a nether wood farm and uh, a lot of people are saying this house is lighthouse lighthouse okay here this is a lighthouse technically i left it open right and a little light in the center but that is it that is all there is to it it also serves as a great parkour course and also this is my favorite water wheel of all time look at that cute thing right there so nice powering uh the inside of our axolotl pen yes <laughs> but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching hopefully you enjoy let me know if you guys want to see more ultimate bases like this also follow me on uh twitter if you guys want to uh give me more inspiration on new upcoming locations but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching catch you on the next one goodbye oh no how can i forget this is philippe everybody this whole section was an extension for a horse table he was locked in there the whole time you're free philippe you're free enjoy your horse table yeah we got a horse table too okay there bye